barely a month since she rose to the top of the ticket. The stage is set for Vice President Harris. Tonight, she's expected to reintroduce herself and offer an, a vision for her would-be presidency. Good morning, folks. In a matter of weeks, Vice President Kamala Harris went from sidekick to leading lady. June 27th, after President Joe Biden flops in a debate against Donald Trump, Harris comes to his defense. The Joe Biden that I work with every day is someone who, as I have said, has performed in a way that has been about bringing people into the Oval Office, Republicans and Democrats, to compromise in a way that is extraordinary these days. Three weeks later, Biden drops out of the presidential race and endorses Harris. I'm watching you, kid. I love you. The vice president moves rapidly to lock up the nomination, securing the necessary commitments in just 32 hours. Her candidacy energizes Democrats, with Harris raising $40 million the day Biden exits. The switch knocks Republicans off message. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Harris climbs in polls, reshaping the likely outcome of the contest from lean Republican to toss-up. Her momentum powered by sharp one-liners on the stump. I know Donald Trump's type. The true measure of the strength of a leader is not based on who you beat down, it's based on who you lift up. Amen. 59 years old, Kamala Harris is the daughter of a breast cancer scientist who immigrated from India and a college professor, a naturalized citizen from Jamaica. She's a graduate of Howard University and the University of California College of the Law, San Francisco. Harris was elected San Francisco DA in 2003 before rising to California Attorney General in 2010. Six years later, she won a U.S. Senate seat, making a name for herself interrogating witnesses. Are you aware of any communication? A lot of people were at the convention. It's conceivable that somebody sir, sir, came I up have to me. Just a few well, you let me qualify. I, I, if, you, okay. if I don't qualify, you'll accuse me of lying. So I need to be correct as best I can. I do want you to be honest. And I'm not able to uh, be rushed this fast. It makes me nervous. Harris's 2020 bid for the Democratic nomination failed, but the winner, Joe Biden, tapped her as his running mate. Their election made Harris the first woman vice president. And she's trying to make history once again by becoming the first woman president. And a good speech tonight could go a long way toward helping her get there.